Hello everyone, I am Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, you will learn a step by step method how to insert or create a table in Outlook message body. You can create that table if you want to create a new message or you want to reply or forward a message to somebody. It is very easy and simple step method you can use in multiple ways. So in this video, you will learn couple of methods how you can easily create a table file in Outlook and you can manage your data or design that table in a very professional way. In early days, I personally used to create my table in the Excel file and simply copy that file and paste it in my Outlook email message. So, but there is a there is couple of methods, couple of options available in Outlook. You can create your own table inside Outlook. So first of all, open a new email. I have already opened it. Go to the insert section, insert tab. There is an option table. Click on it. And you can see there are multiple options here. So the first option is insert table. There are square boxes available, both in the vertically and horizontally. Here, what you have to do is to select that boxes according to your table. You have to use your mouse and select the table. If you want to add additional rows, you have to go down. If you want to add additional columns, you will use that mouse and add additional columns. You don't have to click any button of your mouse. Simply select or drag the mouse from the table. Once you think the your column and rows are sufficient for you, simply hit mouse left button. As soon as you click here, your table is automatically inserted here. This is the first method you can use to insert your table or create your table in Outlook. Now I will show you second method. Again, go to the insert tab, click on table. There is an option insert table. Click here and the insert table dialog box appears. Now, first option is table size. You have to mention the number of columns and number of rows. So if you want the columns, say four, and number of rows, say seven. Simply, you can uh, type manually or you can use this keys also. Second option is auto fit behavior. You can use auto or manual. So I normally use auto. That is very convenient for me. Auto fit to content. You can select this if you want the content to be automatically fit in your table. Or you can also select this to auto fit to windows. Once you are once you think everything is on the track, simply hit OK. See, again, a beautiful table with four columns and seven rows is inserted here. I will show you another method. Before going to the another method, I will show you a trick you can add additional row in an in a existing table. There are two methods to insert additional row in an existing table. First, go to the last column of the row and simply hit enter key. That way additional row will be added in your table. Another method is again go to the last column, hit tab. Tab and enter. These two keys are designed to insert additional row in a table simply by hitting them. Now I am show you the third method. Again go to the insert tab. Go to tables. Now the third method is draw table. It's a very interesting method, but most of the people I personally ignore this. When you click on it, your cursor changes to a pen or a pencil. Simply you have to draw a line like that. You can again draw this. You can simply hit like that. You can use this rows also. You can use lines simply that way. In this method, Technically, you are manually drawing a table on your screen. Again, go to the table and click escape button to go to the normal mode. Now you, these are few methods you can use to insert your table in Outlook. There is another smart method, which is Excel spreadsheet. When you click here, click OK, you can see a spreadsheet, a Excel spreadsheet, which is 
inserted here. You can use this table or this sheet exactly what you use in Excel. You can also use formulas here. You can simply hit like that. It works similarly as you are working on Excel sheet. This is also a method. You can use it. So Outlook also provide you a smart option, which is you can simply convert your text into table. So I have created a simple text and I want this text to be converted into table. So first select the text from your mouse left button. Again, go to the table and there is an option convert text to table. When I click here, my entire text will be converted into a table. See, when I click here, convert text to table appears. Now separate text at paragraphs, commas, tabs and others. You can select tab. Tab is already by default selected by Outlook. Keep all the inputs as it is. Don't change anything. In case you want to change something, you can change according to your requirement. Simply hit OK. Now see, all your data is converted into a table. You can remove these additional columns according to your, uh, if you don't need it, simply select the entire column, click mouse right button, hit cut. Again here, you can select the entire hit cut. There are some things, some data you have to ma manipulate manually. So I just shifted this here. Again, I remove this. Now my table is ready to set. You can also use, you can also manage the layout of this table. You can select here from the corner of the screen. There are few options. You can use it, you can color it, you can you can align the post, you can uh, change the font, you can change the font size. There is an option here, layout. When you click here, you can see the entire options available for you. You can use it according to your requirement. It's a very broad topic. Using layout in your existing table. We will cover this topic in the next video. I hope you found this video useful. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.